Well, tonight, a gift from one cancer survivor to another. We first introduced you to Jen Andrews three years ago when her pedicurist discovered a lump on her foot that turned out to be cancer. Jen later had to have her foot amputated and she's since started her own foundation. It's called Move for Jen and she is now three years cancer free. And so today is part of that anniversary. Her foundation made a very special surprise to another woman on a similar journey. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly was there for it all. That surprise happened here at Burn Boot Camp in Harrisburg. It was emotional and wonderful and heartwarming, and our cameras were here to capture it all. Inside Burn Boot Camp Harrisburg, a dedicated group who bonded during their 5 a.m. sweat sessions. Among them, Stacy Bredeveld. April of 2019, um, we came home from a trip to Vegas, and my foot started swelling, and I thought it was because of just traveling. But test in 2020 would reveal it was sarcoma and in July, Vredeveld learned her foot would need to be amputated. And that was like a gut punch. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I, I don't think I've ever heard anything worse in my life. To help boost her spirits after the surgery, Vredeveld said she'd often stop in to see her friends at the gym. And sat in the back corner in a chair with my walker. <laughs> she also turned to someone who's been in her exact shoes. In 2018, Jen Andrews, an active mom of two, also underwent amputation due to sarcoma on her right foot. I think when you're in that position, you really don't know what your life is going to look like. And so I kind of try to use my story to show people that there is life after amputation. There is a full life. Andrews not only took her life back, but started a foundation to help others do so too. And this year she celebrates three years cancer free, her foundation gifting three prosthetic blades used to help amputees lead active lives. The device is so expensive, they're often out of reach. I know how I felt when I started running again and to be able to gift that to somebody else is just, there's nothing like it and I, it's my favorite. Due to the pandemic, the first two recipients received their blades virtually. But today, the surprise in person. Here we go. Surprise! I'm here for you. And the recipient, Vredeveld. So this is for you. Thank you. You're welcome in the place she loves, surrounded by her biggest supporters. Huge to be able to run. That's the, the one thing I've been able to do everything else, but I just really, really, really want to be able to run. And today, tears of joy, not only for her new blade, but for finally meeting the one person who made it all possible in person for the first time. She was the one of the first people I talked to right after I found out and so encouraging. <laughs> and you know let me know that i would be able to do everything i did before in so. harrisburg ashley daly wcnc charlotte good for jen it's just uh spreading encouragement and inspiration to all of those people yeah it's a good message yeah. and we wish her many 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 years a lifetime of cancer freeness absolutely